I have here with me Mr. Sanjay Kapoor, uh, Sona Koyo chairperson. Today you have taken over officially as chairperson of uh, Sona Koyo Group, uh, and you have reported a positive uh, uh, growth in your company. What's your outlook for the uh, short term and long term? Well, uh, you know, uh, we've had uh, slight growth in terms of margins. Uh, our PAT has gone up to about uh, four, a uh, little over four crores, as opposed to little at about three and a half crores last year. And uh, this has mainly been because uh, last year we had a hit because of our accelerated depreciation. Uh, we've seen a slight growth in terms of our numbers as well. Uh, however, the automotive market has seen, you know, a, a little bit of a slowdown uh, in terms of what we had expected, but it's definitely picking up. We've seen some good numbers coming out in the in the month, in the last two months. So we definitely see an upswing. Uh, we won't see more than 10% uh, growth. However, we will see growth uh, in this coming year. Uh, so you mean that green shoots has already taken up in uh, automobile industry. Uh, overall, if you see uh, the car sales or passenger vehicle sales, what kind of growth do you expect in that? Like I said, uh, passenger car sales have actually exceeded uh, UV sales uh, in this last quarter, which is, you know, very unique. And uh, so maybe that may be the trend going forward. Uh, we'll see a lot of new launches by different OEMs that again will fuel growth uh, definitely in the market. So like I said, you know, below 10%, we'll see those kind of uh, numbers this coming year. So for Sona Group, what is going to be now a uh, way forward? You have taken up a leadership role now. How do you plan to take it forward? Well, uh, you know, we've got two distinct businesses. One is the steering business and one is the gear business. Uh, the gear business is mostly uh, manufacturing outside of India. We've got three plants in Germany, one in the United States. We've got close to 12, uh, sorry, 14 plants in India altogether. Uh, and I think this year is year, really the year of consolidation, bringing together all the pieces, putting them together. Uh, we've so far run the entity as two different uh, or distinct groups. This year we're bringing everything together as one group. Uh, my aim really is to consolidate, improve performance and create a team that can actually manage the entire group together. So more of a central structure and, uh, and consolidate the entire group. In long term, what are going to be the focus for Sona Group for both the entities? Well, in the long term, we're going to focus uh, on our core business. We will focus in the automotive market. There's a lot of excitement in the automotive market. There's a lot of change happening in automotive. Uh, like I always say, the automotive industry is changing at the pace of an IT industry. Uh, there's going to be a lot of new uh, kind of cars being built. Uh, and we hope to participate in, in, the, new, uh, in the new economy in terms of um, the automotive space. Um, Definitely, we want to grow. We've got good technology in our gear business. We've got proprietary technology, in fact. So we definitely want to leverage that technology that we have. Uh, you know, we've got a good foothold in the steering market in India. We want to see how we can globalize that. Uh, so these are really our growth aspirations. Uh, uh, you mentioned that you want to enhance your footprint in the global business. And uh, as uh, Dr. Kapoor also said once that uh, see globe as a market, not in only India. So how do you want to see your revenue, uh, you know, a division from international and local market? Well, definitely we, what we'd like to do is uh, look at what we can be in terms of a percentage of the global market. You know, today we're market leaders in the steering business in India. We're market leaders globally in the gear business. Uh, let's see how we can improve uh, that in terms of percentage of sales globally. Let's see how we can improve percentage of sales globally in the, mar in, in the steering market as well, not just remain a domestic player. Can you give us an outlook for Sona Group in the coming years in terms of revenue? Uh, at this moment, I can't give you a clear uh, picture. However, I can tell you that you know our aim is really to consolidate, bring everything together this year. We are uh, close to 5,000 crores in terms of sales as a group, uh, and uh, you know we're looking at uh, growth in terms of um, you know the natural growth this year, and then we'll see how, what happens next. Do you see improvement, uh, further improvement in uh, profit margin? Because we see lots of. Uh, uh, commodities going down and lots of raw material price uh, going down. 
there's always room for profit, uh, improvement in profit margins, I'd say. Uh, and these are really, uh, you know, one is uh, increased sales. This is a way to improve profit margins. And the other is to improve productivity, improve performance. And, uh, you know, we've had a strong drive in terms of improving performance uh, year on year. And we continue to do that. We continue to improve productivity. Uh, we'll continue to look at how we can, you know, manage our costs better and uh, increase, our th increase our throughput. Um, and uh, over a period of time, of course, you know, the aim is to increase sales. So definitely the aim is to increase. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.